Hey guys, Grushin King here today with another episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs. And today, the face cam is like up in front of me because I finally got a stand that would work. Yay. So, anyway, guys, uh, move my microphone. Ah, that sounded scary in my ears. Uh, bleh. anyway, guys, uh, today, I don't know, we're just here to do an episode. So, no, I am not. I'm not going to stream today, guys. Speaking of which, so I have so speaking of which, uh, uploads, videos, stuff, things. I don't know. Um, there wasn't an upload yesterday, and this week is actually going to be a bit more difficult, I think, for at least recording because uh, I have family from out of town here this week, and and a bit of next week as well. And they live really far away from us, and it's really nice to see them. So I mean, obviously, I'm taking a kind of a break from YouTube this week. Um, I do plan to do hopefully another episode of two or so episodes of Dinos sometime, at least at some point, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, um, before I continue on with my announcements, let us go on. Also, I haven't moved my desk again just because, well, it's like 4 p.m. Whoa. Something just popped up in front of my camera. Oh no. Okay, it stopped. Okay. So, we are in the Failure Saurus exhibit, which we were building on the stream on Saturday, I think it was? Well, yeah, um, I did two more cultivations failed, and we actually got another two, and the blue one, which is my favorite, and I don't have Optifine, because I was messing with stuff. And there it is. Anyway, yeah, this is the Failure Source exhibit. You guys did give me some pretty good ideas on how to build this, suggested I do kind of a broken down laboratory for it, and, well, I have to say, you guys are pretty brilliant. You guys came up with a really awesome design. So, yeah. That is the Failure Source exhibit. Pretty happy with how that looks, not gonna lie. So, today's episode. Um. I was thinking maybe for today's episode would be a bit more of announcements and stuff like that. Uh, so, um, as you guys know, the last, what has it been, like two and a half, week and a half, two and a half, something like that, weeks, we've been doing nothing on the channel but dinosaurs, and well, that's pretty cool. We, I'm really enjoying doing this, it's a lot of fun. I mean, what are we on? We're probably on like episode nine or so now, I think. Yeah, it's about episode nine. Uh, we can't just do dinosaurs every day as much as it would be kind of cool to do that because that means this season is going to end really quickly if we do that and i don't want it to do that i like the seasons to run for a couple months almost i mean the last one heck ran for like a year so i mean it's fun it's i prefer to have them run for a long time rather than a few uh short time because you know it's a bit more fun like that we get a bit more viewer i'd say we get a bit more viewer retention as well if we don't do it every single day, because then obviously you have to kind of wait to come back, and it makes every episode a bit more worth it, I feel. So anyway, that kind of brings me... Also, breaking all the slime trails to get the... Whatchamacallits, the failure sources. I did actually call it Failosaurus in the title of that episode where we got our first one. Failure source is apparently what they're actually called. I had to look it up on the wiki. Um, yeah, I have a ton of slime balls now. If we want to make some super sticky piston kind of thing, we can make... <gasps> okay, not the sticky pistons today. But I know what we can work on today. I just remembered that. So, I don't know if you guys will remember this thing. Um, I don't... I think I only showed it off uh, once or so. Yeah, it was only in one episode, and it was a while ago. Um... I was working on building a bit of a laboratory kind of area out, uh, out a ways away. Oh, I actually need more sticks. Oh no. Um, yeah, about two should work. We only need about two pickaxes. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, I was digging out a place to build a kind of a laboratory because obviously, like usual, we're not going to keep the lab in the house. But also, this new laboratory I was working on, let's see where the sun is. Oh, let me check uh, resource packs. I Oh, I don't have Optifine. That's why the custom sky isn't there. I just noticed that was gone. Yeah, I'll work on getting it back. 
basically, um, yeah, I'll mention this now. Uh, this was more in theme with what I was talking about a minute ago, which was the, we can't do dinosaurs forever. So, uh, I've been thinking about what else to do series on. So, um, what was some of the stuff? I've suggested some stuff to you guys. Um, no one ever really leaves comments on whether or not they'd like to see these kind of things. So, if you guys would please leave a comment on one of the things I mentioned, saying like, oh yeah, I'd love it if you would play this, or maybe... I don't know, if you guys have a game or something like that you really like me to play, leave it down in the comments, because I want to play stuff that you guys want to see. And I probably will not do ARC. Just so you guys know that before. Why is there cotton right here? There was not cotton earlier. Yeah, so just so you guys know, I probably will not do ARC. There's just... there. My reason for not playing Ark is, I if I'm going to play a game with dinosaurs in it, one, I prefer accuracy. Just the thing with me, I'm really into dinosaurs, so it's harder for me kind of to play a game that has inaccuracies. Or, like, if you look at some of the stuff that they write about it, I mean, you can tell they like dinosaurs, and they pick some obscure ones as well, but I just can't get past the fact most of the time that of just how inaccurate they are. I mean, like... What is it, the Brontosaurus in the game is as big as the largest sauropods. Which would be like, uh, Argentinosaurus, Dreadnoughtus, Sarbocidon, things like that. So, I mean, that's definitely not a Brontosaurus. Also, Brontosaurus looks more like a, di a, a Diplodocus or Diplodocus, depending on how you pronounce it. I kind of like both pronunciations of Diplodocus. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, straying away from the subject, yeah. I'm probably not going to be playing Ark just because, one inaccuracies in dinosaurs and two it's a survival game and i know you might be like well minecraft's a survival game and you play that yeah but this mod is different most people don't play this mod un unless whoa okay guys sorry i took a bit of a cut there um basically some the tell some people were on um, my family one of my siblings was playing xbox and the tv remote got wedged between a mattress and it basically went like boom and everyone's ears started bleeding and stuff not really but you know that's what i felt like yeah so anyway um speaking of our being like a survival game that i don't want to play ish the minecraft dinosaurs mod that's a mod you're most likely not really going to play unless you like dinosaurs right or you saw that it did well and you just wanted to do it to get popularity which i don't agree with um mainly because if you're going to play a dinosaur mod you should know something at least a bit about dinosaurs like Big yeah, I'm just going to say this now. Honestly, one of my biggest pet peeves, I guess you would call it, um, on YouTube, when I see someone doing a dinosaur series, is when they, like, um, well, when they read a new dinosaur's name that they're not familiar with, so obviously not Stegosaurus, T-Rex, Triceratops, none of those, and they don't, they can't pronounce it, but then they don't try and learn how to pronounce it. I mean, like, that drives me insane. I mean, like, actually look it up and see how you pronounce the name. I don't know. That's just something that bothers me. I don't know why. Yeah, well, anyway. Yeah, that's the second point about our arc. It's a game that really mo people will just play because it's a survival game, regardless of them knowing dinosaurs or not. So, you know, it's just not my kind of game. It's just not the kind... I play it from time to time, but it's not the kind of game I want to record. Because, well, I don't know. I know some people have this similar problem with the game that I do. Um. Yeah, well, anyway, that's enough about my rant about arc. So... Some of the stuff I do have planned that I am going to try on this channel. Um, so I did mention this a while ago. Um, the original Turok game, which is basically kind of the story's kind of weird. It's just like you're a time traveling Native American dude with a who collects weapons and hunts dinosaurs. Kind of, it, it's cool. It's a it's a really cool kind of old style game. Well, not old style. It is old, <laughs> old game. It's on Steam. I'm, I really want to play it on this channel. I think it'd do well. I think you guys would enjoy it. Mainly because there's also a lot of parkour in there, and it's the controls are better, I've heard, than the original game's controls, but, well, I'm just not good at parkour in games. You guys should know that by now, so, I mean, it might, if you guys just want to see me get, like, annoyed at failing jumps over and over, I mean, that might be the series you want to watch. I don't know. Another thing I'm probably going to try, and this was either going up tomorrow or I don't know sometime around then sometime this week most likely um I might tr I th I'm planning on doing so you guys know I've done survival well if you 
look at what I've actually done. It's twice, but if you actually like, if you're like a really old fan or something like that, and you've seen like tons of my old videos, including some of the ones I've deleted, you'll know this, I've done survival actually three times. And every single time it's been with someone. So like, it's actually every single time it's been with uh, Aussie Man or Zach. So you guys would know him. Very good friend of mine. Um, but yeah, so I obviously want to do survival again because, well, I really enjoy survival. I know it's probably not the most popular thing I can play on YouTube because, well, it's old and it's not mods and stuff. But I really want to do survival, but I was like, well, how can I make this a bit more interesting? Because obviously it's probably not that interesting to just watch me do regular old survival, right? So I've been thinking and I thought, heck, why not do hardcore mode? And then I was like, you know, hardcore mode's good, but it's easy in a way. Once you get to a certain point, hardcore mode can get kind of easy. So I thought, you know what, why not make it UHC pretty much? So that's what I think is going to be going up on the channel again, either tomorrow or sometime after that. Oh, I need I need iron for a piston. I forgot about that. Uh, I want to do a UHC survival world. Um, if I can, I guess I'll see if someone else would be interested in joining me. Um, I don't know if we'll get another person. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's how we built a piston. And we can build five, I think. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna need more than that to rig this up. Um, I have mentioned this before, uh, how I wanna make this like really cool looking door for, like piston doorway for um, the laboratory. And there we go, we got five sticky pistons. So let's head back to the base place thing of a bobber. Maybe we won't make it a three wide piston door. That may be going a bit too extreme, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, um, what were the other series I was thinking on doing? Um, oh, this is a series I kind of want to do, but it probably wouldn't be until fall, I guess. Also, I can just see now in my camera that the lighting is like really bad on one side of my face. Let me go quickly fix that, guys. <laughs> Is that better? Eh, not really. I'll try and fix this for next episode, guys. Sorry. Uh, well, I guess we could have... I tell you what, we'll just... Well, now I've already dug it out this much. Oh. And it has... Hmm. Well, I'll indent it. I'd have to indent it, I guess. But Well, then I guess I've already kind of dug out my wall design. Um, oh yeah, and then they do actually need to go far that far back. And then it'd be three like that. Very simple piston door, guys. I am no redstone genius. I, I can assure you guys of that. You give me redstone, some supplies, and be like, okay, build some sort of cool contraption. I can't. I honestly can't. I'm really bad with redstone. Um, yeah, so anyway, lab laboratory, because we're cool. Um, so yeah, this would be the main doorway. We'll put all the cobble back. There we go. So what else was I thinking for a series? Oh yeah, so the one I was thinking about, that would probably happen this fall, I guess. Because, I don't know. Um, I'd be, I might be interested in doing a Tech It series, and I know Tech It's, well, man, Tech It must be, like, four or five years old. Tech It's old. But I, I have been watching, I was watching, like, some people play it, and I was like, you know, I didn't want to ever do Tech It because, well, it's Tech It, and it's insanely hard to figure out, but I don't know. I think it'd be kind of fun to do a bit of a challenge. I'd bring on probably one of my friends. I'd want to bring on one of my friends from uh, my school. Because he, he does a bit of Minecraft, but he's really into the super technical mods and redstoning and stuff like that. So he's the guy I'd want to do that series with. Because then I might be useless, but at least I have someone who will at least hopefully know what they were doing. So, I don't know. But, okay. Did I have any other series I was thinking of doing? I'm trying to remember right now. Um, oh! 
So, um, speaking of like family being back in town, um, Mafia Twelve, um, he's back. So, as in like he, I've been talking to him a bit more. So, I think me and Mafia Twelve might make some videos sometime soon. I assume most of you guys who subscribed within the last year have no idea who I'm talking about because, well, <laughs> man, I haven't done a video with him in a while. So actually, story time, story time about this channel. I'll probably, if I ever do like a draw my life or just a his, a, oh my gosh, I should totally do that as a video, a history of the channel. That could be like the four year anniversary, four or five year video. Oh my gosh, I almost jumped off a mountain. Yeah, so anyway. Quick, his quick story time um, about the beginnings of this channel. So I created this channel about yeah almost three years ago now. So yeah, I've been doing it for three years pretty much, and I've I think I've gotten to a fairly decent place. I mean, 210 subscribers is pretty sick. Yeah. So anyway, I did not start this channel alone. Um, I started it with Mafia 12, and he's a pretty good friend of mine. And yeah, we I think we ran the channel together for about. It must have been at least three months or so. Three months or so, we ran it together. But then, so I was, I think I was, no, I think he had the account as well, but I was the one who had all the recording stuff, so I was, it was always from my perspective, obviously. And he was like, you know what, uh, he, I think he started thinking like, you know what, maybe I'll try and do a second, my own channel or something like that, so he started that. It was pretty fun, um, yeah, and he, we did videos together for about a couple of more months, but then he got really busy, I think, either school started or something like that and he didn't have as much time as I did so you know anyway yeah and then yeah actually the last video for those of you wondering what the last video I did with him was uh, that must that's almost two years old I think so I mean unless you've recently gone through like every single one of my videos you're not gonna have seen it I'm guessing okay how do I want this doorway to work so it'll be like we build a pavilion or something like some big entrance thing up here that says like chaos laboratories or whatever and then you can go in here and then well what are we gonna have in a laboratory well we'll have our cultivating we'll also have analyzing we should build like a giant analyzing machine oh man industrial craft i think is the mod i'm thinking of i'm not sure there's i know there's a minecraft mod that adds in sorting pipes it's like a diamond pipe or something where you can select exactly which items go through. So I kind of wish we had that now because then we could use some of that kind of stuff for analyzers. So like when we build our final house or, or, ooh. Okay, so this episode's probably just gonna be a lot of me planning stuff around the park for the rest of it. Um, again, this is kind of inspired by the Tekken series I saw. Like if we'd had done something like that, um, it would have been kind of cool to build like a warehouse or something out in the park where we would restore all our resources obviously and then you know maybe with that maybe the laboratory can double as the warehouse or storage place i don't know we'll build a rabbit hut at some time at some point i'm guessing but okay i think i'm gonna end the episode here guys uh thank you for watching this more random video we didn't really accomplish much but we're getting there um, so yeah, um, I would really, really deeply appreciate it, guys. <gasps> Actually, I am going to do something really quickly, guys. Um, I'm just going to hit T there real quick, because I am going to look up the comments. I forgot about this. I, I, I think I meant to do it on the live stream, but I never did. I am going to look up the comments for what you guys gave as names for the Gallimimus, and I'm also going to put the sign down for the, what you might call it, the Velociraptor's name, because, okay, um, okay, we have, okay, so, let me make some signs really quickly, and we will name uh, both of them. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's about how many how much wood we need. Then we'll just do that and Okay. Where are the sticks? Okay, there are the sticks. Okay. So we're gonna do the first name now. 
Okay, so Velociraptor. I need to finish this raptor cage up. Okay, but um... Uh, what, where should we put this? We'll put it like... Right there, I guess. Um, so the Velociraptor's name was... I always like doing something like that at the top. Oh, was it? Was, was it... Um, looking through all my comments, man, you guys have been commenting a lot. Um, okay, so the first dinosaur name was Mr. or Mrs., depending on what gender it is when the update rolls around. Okay. Mr. Cuddles, and then we'll put the next line there, that's your name. And that he was named by... Tony Martian or Martian or is that how it? Yep, okay. And there is the first name. And then we will get our second name on here real quick. And that is let me quickly scroll up. Um Gabe. Okay. And just so you guys know, if we do get more Gallimimuses, I will definitely pick more names. For them so just keep suggesting names for actually along with uh, i don't know why i started talking about name suggestions because we've only got two dinosaurs right unless you guys want to name the failure stores i guess oh yeah so um gabe was named by michael johnny oh no that i can't spell michael a Michael, Danny. Sorry for misspelling. If um, I'm just gonna make sure. I did spell the name right. Yep. Okay. Thank you for naming my Gallimimus, Michael. Thank you very much. Sorry it took me so long to spell your name. I'm not the best speller in the world. Um, you guys. Oh. Ah. Good grief! House invasion. Oh, a cultivator broke. I forgot. I was wondering why that was so dark. Okay, I guess we're going to end the episode here. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Um, in the comments down below, please leave a comment on um, if you guys want me to play something, either one of the things I suggested, or suggest something for me to play down in the comments below. Um, suggest new dinosaurs for me to do, new buildings to do, things to do. Um, what else? Oh, um, if you have names for the failure sources we have, uh, leave them down below and we will I will definitely start naming them. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, see ya!